Hey everybody, this is Matt at Sparkle Farm. We have a new piece of equipment here. This is the DR Power Wagon. I don't know all the specs on it just yet. I don't know if it's the Pro model or anything, but it came with the tub for mixing like concrete. It's electric start, batteries junk, it's old. It's probably, I'm guessing this is probably 10, year old machine give or take but it was I don't think they ever really used it because all the hardware on it still nice and shiny doesn't look like they stored it outside it's more just garage dust than anything uh, there are some problems with it and I'll go over that with you in a second but overall I'm really happy with this thing I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be handy for me I've never actually used one uh but i saw it for sale on one of those apps uh so price was right i paid 120 dollars for this and it does have some problems that if uh between myself and my dad if we weren't uh i guess handy enough to or to kind of like solve, problem solve it it probably wouldn't have been a good buy so it for sure needs a battery not a big deal like 60 80 bucks but should last a good long time but in turn it that means it's electric start and has the power dump which is a huge plus and let me show you uh, the other major problem that we made a temporary fix and i just have to go get some pieces parts to actually bolt it in all right so i have it just jumpered to a car battery but power lift um, from what I read about these online the actual actuator that goes on here can lift about 800 pounds or it's rated for but talking to my dad this morning or yesterday he brought over this morning this piece right here all right so this is the whole piece we put in so this came from a piece of medical equipment that was like some sort of lift so normally the hole should be here and up there but I drilled a hole down here and mounted it because I wanted this to lift and go and max out the up I wasn't so worried about bringing it down because it you hear it click so I need to get I just used what I had in hand, but I need to get a, a, a bolt, a couple washers to space it, and a lock nut for this side, and then same thing up here, and then I'm going to uh, fasten this down so it doesn't get in its own way, and put a new plug in down there to connect that to, so I'll, I'll probably uh, put a, connect, a new connection there but yeah it has like all the goodies but so this is the other problem is leaking fuel but that's just a carb rebuild or i don't know sometimes the carbs are actually cheaper to buy a brand new one and bolt it on so we're going to look it up both ways and make a decision of what to do <coughs> so but i was able to get it started yesterday and move it around so everything on it works that I'd say are the really expensive parts. Like if the transmission didn't work, I'd, I would just be kicking this thing down the street. But it works, um, motor's able to be fixed. My dad had the actuator and I looked that up on DR's uh, website and it just said call for price. So it's like, oh boy, they probably don't even wanna list it. But an aftermarket one, um probably between 30 and 60 bucks i didn't i didn't know exactly what i needed so that's a range of what i was looking at hey everyone i was able to run up to our local tractor supply and had everything i needed or think i need
Okay, so that's one side. Now this side here is a little different. So I'm just gonna go bolt, washer, 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 because I want to space it. Go through washer, then I'm going to double nut it. All right, I'm calling that a win. I'm just gonna go get a couple wrenches and I'm gonna snug these uh, nuts down and we will have a working done. Okay, so I still want that to wiggle. So I want it to pivot nicely, but I don't want it to bind up on the plastic at all. Now down at this end, Hopefully, I can get in there. Okay, that's all snugged up. Uh, we're gonna zip tie the cable down here. And I'm gonna find a connections to hook this wire to something because I just kind of jammed it in there. All right, so on this end of the actuator, I need to be able to plug it in. Um, so I picked up where I had some spades that I had to modify a little bit, but these are gonna work out great. Then they just to plug into the factory plug. Awesome. All right, now that we have it hooked up, I don't know if I hooked it up right, up or down. Oh, first try.
All right. Now I'm going to just zip tie this all in place. I mean, we should be in, in good shape uh, until we get our carb pieces. All right, everybody. Sorry, I didn't think it would actually start. So uh, it is jumped. Uh, I just disconnected the battery. So let's uh, take it for a short spin. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Okay, well that was short-lived. That wasn't me turning it off. Um, I'd say definitely some carburetor issues, but it's nice that it runs. Uh, no smoking, no nothing. Just carburetor dripping gas. So uh, I took a picture of the of the model uh, number of it. So yeah, this is nice.